Now, changing fractions to decimals. There are certain fractions you should know, like a half is 0 0.5, you should know that. And a quarter is 0 0.25. Three quarters, 0 0.75. If you don't know those, make sure you learn them. Now, how do we change other fractions to decimals, like for example, two fifths? Well, two fifths is the same as something out of 10. We've multiplied the bottom by two, so we times the top by two. We have four tenths. Now, four tenths is 0 0.4. Look at this number, 27.139. This is the tens column, so two tens are 20. There's the units column, or the ones column. Then after the decimal point, you have the tenths column. So there we have one tenth. Then that three is in the hundredths column. That's a lot smaller. That's three hundredths. And the nine is in the thousandths column. So that's nine thousandths. So if you can change a fraction to be out of 10 or 100, it's very easy to change it to a decimal. For example, 7 twentieths. We could change that to be something out of 100. Here we've multiplied the bottom by 5, so we times the top by 5. We have 35 out of 100. That is 0 0.35. 35 hundredths, there's the hundredths column, there's 35 hundredths. Now look at this one, 3 twentieths. We can also change that to be out of 100. Here we're multiplying the bottom by 5. 3 fives are 15. 15 hundredths is 0 0.15. Now let's look at another one, 4 fifths. Four fifths we can change to be something out of 10. So we times the bottom by two, we times the top by two, we have eight tenths. Which is bigger, four fifths or eight tenths? Well, they're exactly the same. They're both the same size, they are equal. When you multiply or divide the top and bottom of a fraction by the same number, it keeps it the same. So, 4 fifths is the same as 8 tenths, which is 0 0.8. We've changed a fraction to a decimal. Now, have a go at these. Copy down the questions and show you're working properly. OK, off you go. Right, answers. Number one, 1 fifth is the same as something out of 10. We times that by 2, so we times the top by 2. 2 tenths is 0 0.2. Number 2, 9 twentieths. We can change twentieths to be out of 100. 20 into 100 goes 5 times. So we're multiplying the bottom by 5. We multiply the top by 5. 45 hundredths is 0 0.45. Number three, 11 25ths. Again, 25 goes into 100. We're multiplying the bottom by four, so we times the top by four. So that is 44 hundredths, which is 0 0.44. Right, download the worksheet and give them a go.